All right, so I don't know how much of the history I know of this building, but this was actually, um, they repurposed some of the existing stadium and, and built this four-story structure on the back of it. If you, we, we are standing in what used to be a road that was down, it was an access road that was behind the stadium. And all of this that's built down here was built on that road between the existing stadium and Stadium Drive. So it's kind of a unique project. Um, we have gone through some different transitions. Obviously, we are transitioning from our row the boat time uh, to Tim Lester's time. What you see here is our weight room on the other side of this room, and then the visiting team locker room is built into the old structure. So this is all brand new space here. Now we will do some stairs. Hopefully that's okay for everybody. Uh, we're going to go up two, two sets of stairs eventually. Um, but in here, we have two full-time strength and conditioning coaches and there's probably three or four others that work with them. Uh, they do some, some run training. They obviously do a lot of, a lot of uh, conditioning and stretching. This is our director of strength and conditioning right here. We call him G, G squared. Uh, and this is where getting better happens. So any questions about strength and conditioning, a lot of nutritional counseling, guiding the kids towards uh, and actually, Grant is responsible for setting our menus that the things that kids need. They work with our medical staff to put together a little bit of balanced diet. Slide your step as you walk through here. and defense, but this is big enough for the entire team to fit in. There's 110, 120 seats in here. Uh, we do all kinds of different things in here. We do uh, education for parents. We'll do recruiting visits. We use this, obviously, for a variety of different meetings that the coaches do and education, and they do all kinds of, uh, you know, growth and skill set development beyond football, we'll have um, attorneys in, we'll have people from the, the tire store in to teach them how to change a tire on a car, uh, all kinds of things that they focus on in terms of skill development and growing them as people beyond just football players. So they'll use spaces like this, and this is one of the spaces we use for the major team. You know, we just finished redoing some of the graphics on the wall. This was remodeled about uh, formally about two years ago. So, any questions? And there's video, um, audio, that, and, it, and it's split. He's, they're opening it up now, but it's two sets of all that. So the offense and the defense can use separately. How are you doing? <laughs> What I cannot show you is the locker room because the kids are in there and getting dressed, getting ready, and so that's going to be off limits today. But if you were to continue down here, you go right into the locker room, and then on the other side of that is our, is our sports medicine and our equipment area. <coughs> Hello to all. Good, good.
amendments. I just want to make sure. This is, if, if you look at this floor, and this is more of a kind of a non-athlete floor. This is for other functions. This is the staff rooms where the coaches meet. And again, all that video stuff that you saw downstairs is in here. Our video coordinator's office is actually in here, and all he does for 14 hours a day is look at film, split it up, make cuts for the kids, digital stuff, and for the coaches. So, major staff room and then an offense and defensive room is also in here. If you look at this wall, from this end, about three quarters of the way down, is our history of football. And there's some interesting, interesting history here. Um, you'll see here with uh, Sam Dunlop, in 1915, we had an African-American football player here at Western. He was not allowed to enroll at the University of Michigan because he was African-American. We took him here and he was probably one of the best football players we've ever had. And that's been the kind of program that we've had up here at Western for a very long time, over 100 years. And I think we're kind of proud of that. And his family was just here, right? Pardon me? His family was just Yes, just uh, a week ago. Yep. What would they be doing the Broncos? Uh, they were the Hilltoppers. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. And they had a contest. Oh, I would have kept reading. A student <laughs> contest that was that game with the Broncos. Now, I have been here. Yeah, back at 39. And here, this is when I started. I all this. this is my office right here at me. NFL scouts will come in here and they use this room to watch film of kids that they're interested in drafting or signing. So they'll come in here, we prepare, you know, highlight tapes of them for each kid. They'll sit there and look at that. How were you involved in sports before? I, I started here as an athletic trainer. So I, my background is in sports medicine. But I've actually been on the administrative side for about 20 years now. I still supervise the Again, some of our core history is in here. This is our trophy room. Wander around here for a few minutes because I think it's kind of interesting stuff and it, and it talks way better than I do about our history and some of our accomplishments. These are our um, you know, all Americans that we've had. Uh, these are some of the trophies we won. Obviously, this is from Cotton Bowl last year. Now the MAC Championship Trophy is outside. Did I? I did. I played football. I played in college. A long, long time ago. Back when you folded your helmet up. <laughs> There's my video for this picture. I'll get you a picture. But... You know, you know, it's more than Central Michigan. Approach it better. And they need to approach it better. And 
I'm not there yet. Okay. Plus three is the one that, you know, they're going to tell me what it means okay. at some point in time, but I'm Could sure it's very important. Could be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this it's four be simple. is our game day sweets. 359 days of the year, they're coaches' offices. They get converted on game day, and we sell them. Uh, a combination of fundraising and sales. Um, people can rent these for the you know the opportunity to be in here on game day, and they get between depending on the size between 24 and I think 36 tickets. They're catered. There's food. They can have other beverages, things like that that aren't generally available in the stadium. So a lot of corporations in particular they actually have an indoor facility. You'll see them over the end zone and then up here. They've been very successful. Um, but mostly, they're wonderful spaces for our coaches to work with. And then they convert for our athletes to meet with their coaches. So like the receivers will be in the receivers office with their coach. When I first came here, we were needing bathrooms, we were needing storage rooms, portables that we had to bring in. I mean, it was, there was no facility here. So it's been, it's been a really wonderful update.
this is your head coach in the office. This is a space that does not get sold on game day. This is the head coaches to use. It's appointed a little nicer during the week. Uh, but you'll notice that it's, it's set up the same. They have outdoor access to some seating. Uh, they, they set stools and different seating inside depending on the weather. People choose to stay in and stay out. We stream the game inside here so people that are in eating, talking, maybe we're doing some fundraising, whatever the case may be, can still watch the game without having to be glued to the, you know, the window watching it. Um, but this is, a, this is a wonderful space, although it's not your traditional football environment. I'm assuming all of you know the Tim Lester story here as an athlete. And this is his second go around with us in the coaching side. So, we have a pretty good history this time. Any questions? That's pretty much the tour. You've seen it from the, from the back stage area, and uh, unfortunately, can't show you the locker room and that side of it, but it's very nice also. And, it, and you find out it doesn't smell quite as bad as you thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll walk you down. We're going to go back down the way we came here.